Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center. As today we have a Xiaomi Redmi 9T with an unresponsive display. It's not cracked, but David is here to replace it for us. So let's go. So first thing we're gonna do is try to shut it down the proper way by pushing on the power button on the side but it seems that this smartphone has a problem with that as well so we're gonna remove the sim card tray and then separate the two parts uh, the display and the back cover so this is not your flagship smartphone with adhesives they're just clips on all sides of this back cover that hugs around the main chassis there's also a very thin cable that is attached to the main board so this is for your power button we're going to remove the cover on the main board and detach this cable and then we're also going to detach the display cable connector and the battery so we're going to test this replacement display so we can save a lot of time so if there's other issues on this smartphone we can detect it at this point so far so good smartphone is booting up with the new display so mind you that we haven't removed the main the broken display yet we're just testing the replacement display So now David has removed the replacement display so we can proceed now to our full disassembly. So we have proven that the replacement display is working, the touch is working and now we're going to remove the components that we're going to transfer to the new display so because the display is acting like it's part of the chassis as well. So behind the display you have the battery we're gonna remove that one also have adhesives and a very thick flex cable that goes through the housing surprisingly the main display is easy to remove I think this is already the second time this smartphone has been fixed so because typically you, you have to take a lot of time removing the broken display from the mainframe so we're just gonna remove the old adhesives on this mainframe to prep it with our own fresh liquid glue right here we're gonna put just the sufficient amount on the sides so that it will hold on to the display And then after this, we're going to route the flex cable through this slot and then position the display and we're going to press it in. We're going to push it in and never mind the excess liquid glue on the sides. We're just going to clean it up later. Some readjustments and then we're gonna move to our reassembly we're just gonna reverse everything that we have done up to this point you attached all the connectors that had to be attached and then we're gonna reuse this battery adhesives since it's also, uh, still sticky and we're gonna reinstall the battery back to the main chassis so so far this is a very straightforward repair but for a novice um, DIY enthusiast who wants to do their own uh, Xiaomi Redmi 9T repair, this is going to be um, not for beginners because there's a lot of parts that had to be detached. Unlike your Samsung flagship smartphones where parts are clumped together in a modular, very sophisticated fashion, this one is kind of a budget option. So the construction materials and the construction plans are not as sophisticated 
so you might want to seek professional help when you want to fix your own uh, Redmi 9T. We're gonna screw this back in and then final test before we close up the device. I like the wallpaper anime by the way. So we're not gonna show you inside the smartphone because of where the client requested us to not show it on this video so so far we have now completed this repair it's now gonna need a few cleanup wipes and then it's gonna be ready for the client so if you have any questions or you want this same kind of repair on your own redmi 9t don't hesitate to message us or leave a comment down below uh, don't forget to like and subscribe And David here is now completed his job. Let's see the broken display side by side. See you again next time, guys. Take care and cheers. If you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price, you may contact Sydney CBD Repair Center. We also provide mail in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.